St. Lucia is continuing efforts to achieve cleaner, smarter transportation. A hybrid and battery electric vehicle service and repair level 4 train the trainers workshop is being hosted at the Faculty of Engineering of the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. The training activity brings together technical instructors from across the region, preparing them to deliver training in electric vehicle diagnostics and maintenance using industry-recognized tools and standards. Addressing participants, Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Science and Technology of the University of the West Indies Mona Campus, Professor Tanisia Stevenson, reflected on the anticipated impact of the initiative. I would love to invite you to make full use of the week. Um, beyond the training, I would love us to start thinking about what are some questions that we need to be answering for the Caribbean. I think this is an excellent opportunity for us to identify what is that unique value proposition, what's unique to the Caribbean, and what standards, what procedures, as we look at what exists, what can we innovate so that we can put a Caribbean stamp on the rollout of EVs across the globe. Participants are receiving instruction in hybrid and electric vehicle servicing. The training will be replicated in their home institutions to support broader adoption of green mobility skills. As reflected in the TVET policy 2019-2025, St. Lucia is committed to advancing workforce development in response to climate change, economic demands, and the need for resilient infrastructure. Incorporating electric vehicle maintenance into technical education supports this aim by integrating sustainability into practical skill development. Perry Thomas serves as Executive Director of the St. Lucia TVET Council and Chair of the Standards Committee within the Caribbean Association of National Training Authorities, Cantor. This training, when placed in the context of TVET, the TVET conversation, sorry, resonates with the theme of workforce development and economic growth. The adoption and promotion of technical vocational education and training is arguably the tool to be used in pursuit of sustainable economic development and an instrument to be applied to diversify the livelihoods and strengthening the capacity, the adaptive capacity of our people. Electric Mobility Advisor Antonio Sealy underscored the importance of regional coordination and standardization in modernizing training across sectors. Change is one of those things that needs to be managed and the transition to electric mobility is something that I would say requires the same level of change management that you apply to other projects and initiatives. And capacity building and training persons is a key part of that. We don't want to damage the reputation of the technology because it's new and persons don't have confidence in it. We want to provide the necessary support to the key persons working in the space to ensure that we have the longevity of the technology and persons feel confident in it. With investment in upgraded TVET institutions and curriculum reform already underway, this initiative helps strengthen St. Lucia's capacity to train and deploy a skilled workforce while reducing dependence on external expertise. Funded by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action through its International Climate Initiative and implemented with the support of GIZ, this initiative marks another step in St. Lucia's journey to equip its people to achieve a sustainable, low-emission future. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium.